Hey guys, what's up? This is White Boy for the win, and welcome back to Why Mega Evolve. Now, earlier this week we talked about Mega Mag Cargo, and today we're going to be talking about Mega Slurpuff. But before we get started, let me just give you guys a brief explanation of what this series is about. Now, every week we'll be picking two Pokemon that either need a Mega Evolution, deserve a Mega Evolution, or want a Mega Evolution 4. Now, this is based off my opinion, my opinion alone, and no one else's. Now, if you guys do not like my opinion, then please post your own opinions in the comment section down below about what would you keep, what would you change and etc and at the end of every video we'll be telling you guys which pokemon we're going to be talking about the following day so with that said here is mega slurpuff now before we actually get into the video if you cannot tell by now i have a new intro and this is the first video that i'm actually using the new intro now if you guys watched my update video i told you guys that i record a month ahead so i uploaded just the intro about a month ago from when you guys should be watching this video uh, to show you guys that hey this is going to be my new intro from now on so uh when you guys are going to be like watching that new intro it's going to be like a month ahead so don't be like oh where's the new intro because i told you guys that i pre-record a month ahead uh, i already have a month worth of videos already uploaded there's just got to be um they're going to be released on the dates that I, I actually scheduled them to be released so just don't just ask where's the new intro until uh today but nonetheless uh regardless uh, slurpuff is a pokemon where like in my opinion was kind of stupid at first but then like after a while and i saw it shiny i was like it kind of grew on me like i'm not gonna lie it actually grew on me and then I, when i actually used this thing in competitive play i wasn't a big fan but at the same time is like how can you not like using this thing in competitive play because it gets access to belly drum drain punch uh play rough and return like those are just really good moves to have on a pokemon like slurpuff because once again it gets access access to belly drum and most people when they use a competitive slurp puff they use like the unburning ability which pretty much doubles your speed after an item is uh used like for instance the citrus berry when people use a belly drum on slurp puff that the citrus berry activates and then pretty much your unburdened boost is activated so you're pretty much you're gonna have a plus six slurp puff with double speed that's just pretty much power right there but nonetheless i honestly think that slurp puff should deserve to get a mega evolution because it's that it, it's not that it's a bad Pokemon, it's just that it could be better. Like, that's all I'm really saying, it could be better. So as you can tell from what I've done to its stats, I did increase everything because honestly everything needed to get increased. Um, so anyway, so let's just get right into it. So for its physical attack, I increased it from base 80 to base 95. Um, I didn't want it to really overpower its physical attack because it gets access to Belly Drum. And with a plus 6 um, from actually using the Belly Drum, this thing is just going to have sky high attack. Um, at first i gave it the huge power ability but i'll get to that in a sec why i actually switched it but nonetheless um, at base 95 with a plus six after ability drum this thing is just going to be like wrecking shop i can tell you that right now it's just going to be one shotting a lot of things or dealing a lot of damage to like pokemon that resists like moves that it gets like fairy type it's going to do really good damage to like steel types um so base 95 is actually pretty decent now for its special attack i increased it from base 85 to base one now I wanted to increase its special attack a little bit higher than a physical attack because obviously it gets access to belly drum and if I'm not mistaken also power up punch don't quote me on that but I believe it does get access to that move as well but nonetheless I wanted to increase its special attack a little bit more than its physical attack only because it gets access to quite a few special hits like thunderbolt flamethrower uh, energy ball and uh, quite a few other like coverage special type attacks that it can get access to now if i'm not mistaken like when slurpuff was first released i don't even think it got access to like thunderbolt so that's the one thing that they kind of added in on that ruby off a of sapphire now once again don't quote me on that because i'm not sure if that was actually true or not um but nonetheless it does get access to quite a few special hits that you can run for coverage like i said thunderbolt energy ball and also flamethrower and a lot of people like to run flamethrower just for coverage on steel types because like sizzle or metagross are all like pokemon that people can run that can pretty much one shot slurp puff with like a bullet punch because they both get technician and tough claws so uh i 
flame the heart is a very like common covered move to have on a slurp puff. Now for its physical defense, I increased it from base 86 to base 104 as well. Um, honestly, it, it kind of is bulky, but not at the same time. But regardless, at base 104 physical defense, it is going to be able to eat up maybe one or two hits. Um, it's not like I said, like all that bulky. I mean. Regardless, at base 104, it can't eat up maybe one or two hits from like super effective attacks. But if it's coming from like a Mega Metagross or like a Mega Scissor, there's just going to be no way uh, Slurp Puff is going to be able to live like a, a Technician boosted or a Tough Claws boosted Bullet Punch. There's just there's just no way. I don't see Slurp Puff actually living that unless like that Pokemon is intimidated or something like that. But regardless, at base 104 defense, it is going to be a little bit more bulky than it was before. So so it actually is pretty good. Now for its special defense, I increased it from base 75 to base 95. Obviously when it comes to Slurpuff, it is a fairy type and it is weak to poison and uh, steel. Now when it comes to those two typings that it's weak to, Sludge Bomb and uh, what is it called? Flash Cannon are very common moves that you would see on regular Pokemon like, for instance, you would see Sludge Bomb on like, uh, Gudra. I'm just, it's been a while since I recorded. I'm sorry if I uh, am messing up a little bit. But nonetheless, uh, like you see Sludge Bomb on Gudra, you see Flash Cannon on like Mega Blast Toys, for an example. Those are very, very strong uh, moves that Slurpuff won't be able to take all that well. So I wanted to increase its special defense to base 95 um, just to make it a little bit more bulkier as well. It's not going to be as bulky, but it's still going to be an bulky enough maybe to take at least one like super effective, like sludge bomb or, or flash cannon hit now for its speed i increased it from base 72 to base 100 now the reason why i increased it to base 100 is because since it's i gave it a mega evolution it's i don't see slurp puff going to be like mega rayquaza where mega rayquaza can actually mega evolve and also hold an item because if that would happen i would have given it the unburden boost but since uh, when it comes to like regular pokemon like for instance like mega pidgeot it has to hold the mega stone and i'm pretty sure if we get uh, megas for like mega slurp puff uh, it's going to get a mega stone as well and when it comes to like mega stones you you can't really knock it off or anything like that so giving it the unburden boost would or the unburden ability would kind of be pointless in my opinion so what i wanted to do for its speed is that i wanted to increase it to base 100 just to like make it somewhat fast but not fast at the same time because usually when pokemon have base 100 speed uh they are kind of pretty fast in my opinion so um it's kind of taking away the unburden boost but at the same time giving it enough speed to actually outspeed a lot of things in, in like competitive play right now um it can do it some good now as a regular slurp pup it's base stats at 480 and then with the mega evolution it's going to be at 580. now for its ability i actually at first gave it huge power ability but then a lot of people started complaining about me giving pokemon or too many of my Pokemon from my Mega Evolution videos, huge power or pure power or sacred power. Um, so I decided to scrap it and give it a new ability called Sugar or uh, Stale Sugar. Now, what this ability does, um, it pretty much that it's kind of like I wouldn't say it's kind of like uh, like Unburden Boost, but at the same time, it kind of is. Because what Stale Sugar does, pretty much when Slurpuff gets uh, to 50%, its special defense gets increased by 1.5. Now, it's not the ideal ability that I decided to give it. I mean, I was trying to think of like a... Like a uh and a, a unique ability for Slurpuff and this was the pretty much the best thing I can come up with at like a short term notice because like when I before I started recording I was like oh shit it has huge power so I decided to switch it and that's what the ability I've given it but regardless uh, I still think it's a very good ability because pretty much uh, it, it increases its special defense by 1.5 so it's technically like having an assault vest on Slurpuff now the reason why I did that was because audience uh, because obviously it's physical defense I increased it uh, a little bit more than in special defense uh, and also it's a little bit higher and with sludge with moves like sludge bomb and flash cannon being very common in competitive play I decided to actually give it an ability which pretty much increases its special defense by 1.5 and that's what stale sugar does because it, um, what the ability name came from was pretty much it's kind of like think of it like 
like peeps like after a while peeps do get stale and that's pretty much sugar and slurpup is the embodiment of a pokemon made out of sugar so um the, the actual ability name kind of fits with it and also same thing for its um description as well which i've given it like i said it increases the special defense by 1.5 after it hits 51 uh 50 percent um i'm not sure if it should actually keep the special defense like increase after um like if you use like a pokemon with like wish or something like that um maybe it does but then if it hits 50 percent again it just doesn't increase anymore i don't know you guys can think of what what would be like the best uh description for stale sugar for mega slurp puff and then for its typing i left it alone as fairy i was actually contemplating about making it a part grass as well because it gets access to energy ball but i decided to leave it alone as fairy because there's honestly no reason for me to give it another typing just for one move to make it a stab move i mean i know there's a lot of pokemon that kind of have that uh aspect i can't really name any off the top of my head but i know there's a couple pokemon like that but regardless I just decided to leave its typing alone as fairy. So anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this uh, video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Now, it's actually been a while since I recorded the Y Mega Evolve video. So if uh, my explanation on a lot of things was kind of rusty uh, and kind of fuzzy i would say then i do apologize it's just that i haven't recorded anything regarding why mega evolve in a while because like i said i am a uh, pre-recorder over a month ahead of like time and schedule so yeah so once again uh anyways if you guys missed the previous why mega evolve video which was mega mag cargo it is going to be in the description box down below i always forget to mention that but once again uh in every single why mega evolve video i do the previous video that or the previous latest video that was out is always going to be in the description box in the newest why mega evolve video so um if you guys missed the mega mag cargo video it is like i said going to be in the description box down below but once again um the next pokemon we are going to be talking about is a very very highly requested pokemon that should have gotten a mega when omega ruby and alpha sapphire came out and that is going to be mega tropius so yes next week we are going to be talking about mega tropius so once again uh this is white boy for the win like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys later